everyone. Welcome to um, this video today. I'm here with Jackie McDonald and I'm so excited to introduce her to you and her story. Um, so Jackie, I just wanted to invite you to go ahead and tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Hi, so I'm Jackie. <laughs> I um, have been designing with my brand Sweetfire Road for about two years now. Um, my background is a bit varied. I worked for catalogs for a long time and then I um, actually led a product development team for about 10 years for um, the toy industry. Yeah. Which was, um, which was fantastic, but frenetic. And um, as much as I loved what I did and the team that I worked with, um, we were a, um, a tough industry and I started noticing more and more that my health was declining, that my smiles were fading, <laughs> and that I was giving more than I was receiving. Um, mm. I, I had a new baby and mm. it also became very clear to me when I had uh, Sammy that um, I wanted to be there. I wanted, I realized how much I actually lived for my work instead of um, living for my family. So my priorities switched and um, I stepped away um, from that position. So, yeah. um, so I, I found um, the immersion course actually through mm. a wonderful friend of mine. Um, I actually took the biggest leap of faith in my life as um, this is so out of character for myself. I, I left my position mm. and I made the decision just to put my whole heart in into this immersion course. I um, thought I was a crazy person because everything <laughs> I had done for years past told me, no, yeah, you, you must do things this way. This is the path that you're on. But this just felt right down to my very bones. Mm. And so... Um, with a very um, wonderful supportive husband, um, I, I just dove into it and it's really been the best decision of my life. Did you know before that moment what surface pattern design was? Because I can remember like the moment I even realized what it was and I was like, this is an incredible career. I did not, I didn't know, um, I didn't know what to call it. And there were enough key words in surface pattern design to make me click and look further but no I uh it's it's a very strange thing to describe to your friends and family right you know <laughs> unless you have a shirt on or uh, something right. to someone's tie and say that <laughs> that is what I do so no that was actually a very new term for me tell me a little bit about the actual decision if you can think back two years ago like the decision making progress of so you didn't only decide to take the course which is a big decision on its own but you also decided to leave your job at this around the same time i felt a shift in that i started leading with out my head so much involved but my heart mm. and that's what i fought tooth and nail until i started seeing um signs and feedback that I was going down the right path. Mm, I love that. So tell me a little bit about what it was like um, to come through the course. What were your biggest takeaways and what did that whole next year look like for you? Um, going through the course, um, I, I, I love being a student. So yeah, I, I had my little, I had my, you know, my trusty legal pad. <laughs> I, yeah. love all supplies. I was out with my notebook and my pen every day. And I, my biggest fear getting started was that you were going to talk up here. I was going to feel very small and I would run away and have to tell my husband, I'm very sorry, but that wasn't the right choice. And I've spent money and, oy, oy. but I sat down and honestly, right off the bat, um, you have a way of making <laughs> people think, oh yeah, I can get this. I do understand. And the way you deliver it in little chewable pieces mm. was just enough that I did my homework like a mad woman every night and then came back just real. I, I did this. Oh my gosh, it did scare me. Maybe I'll come back and that won't scare me. 
the next day. So, yeah. um, so really, um, I found myself addicted very quickly. And that first year, you know, mm. just like you said, I was a pattern making lunatic. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I was making patterns out of every single thing I could think of. Just got to say that my experience over that year was just a hopeful enthusiasm that I had not had in a really long time. And, mm. and, and it, I, it is, I, it's fun. Yes. It's, it's you know, a way to immediately see, like you're creating something that you can put out into the world immediately, which is yes. just such a really amazing feeling. Right. It's a catalyst for expressing yourself in ways that, you know, as a working woman, you don't usually have a, 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 a vessel for expressing yourself the way you'd mm -hmm. like to. And mm -hmm. this was a nice, um, just a nice thing just for me. You know, one of the things I was proudest of is before I left my job, I designed two products. And those two products out of all the years I worked there are still on the shelf. And that's mm. kind of what yeah. kept me going is I thought yeah. that was me and maybe I can do it again. So, yeah. It's, oh, I love that. <laughs> okay. So bring us up to speed to present day um, and tell us what, your work life looks like now and about some of the accomplishments you've had since. I'd be happy to. So I, um, I'm happy to say I work from home now. I, um, uh, I, I set my calendar um, every day. I, I have really become a believer in time management and setting big goals. I have been um, just absolutely um, eating up every book I can get my hands on the subject because now that I know enough to be dangerous, I want to engage and become a real player and just swim in this. Yeah. Um, so my day looks like um, making goals, big goals, little goals. Um, today I might want to um, make three patterns, make sure I get something on Instagram and make sure I'm engaging in some way so that I don't mm -hmm. lose momentum. Yeah. Um, what's brilliant about that is that you know, if I, if the school does call, I can be mom in a heartbeat. So exactly. um, in a nutshell, it's, it's, it's just a perfect work day for me. I love that. And some of your accomplishments. Well, I'm tickled to death and beside <laughs> myself to say that uh, last week I was awarded a, a licensing arrangement with a fabric company. And um, while I can't announce um, the who and the what and the when yet, I can say that I am just absolutely over the moon and, um, <laughs> and that I, 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 um, I now want to give this to other people. It was yeah. such a moment. I, I thought about you with your book at Quilt Market yeah. in that <laughs> moment when they called and a thousand and one, I heard yes. And honestly, I looked down at my email and I thought, Oh my gosh, I was looking for the no and there was a yes and then another <laughs> yes and I I just can't tell you how thrilled I am. So thank oh. you for helping me get here. <laughs> Congratulations. That thank is you. incredible. And I do, I know exactly how you <laughs> felt and are feeling and are feeling now. So what I'm hearing from you is small steps, bite uh, bite-sized chunks yes. and consistency and yeah. perseverance yes yes and um and just have in place something um whether it be pictures on your desk or whatever means something to you a reminder that um even when the voices start telling you you know it's going to be yeah. no it's not going to be me honest to goodness there yeah. it's very much possible for anyone mm -hmm. to succeed who yeah. wants to succeed in this Okay, so you might have just answered my next question, but if someone was interested in learning about licensing or becoming a surface pattern designer, but maybe they're where you are, like maybe they're in a job that feels toxic or they're just not fulfilled or they want to work at home with their children, right. but they're scared um, to take that jump, what, what would you tell them? I would say embrace that fear and, um, and make it your friend and um and sit with it talk to it and and just take 
a small step into the unknown and see what happens because, you know, 9.999 chances out of 10, it's going to be okay. And I think everyone is stronger than they think and more creative than they know. And um, I would just um, absolutely say, go for it. You don't know until you try. I actually love, you shared this quote with me earlier from David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, do you have it memorized or you want me to read it? I nearly have it memorized. <laughs> I have it right here. Hey, okay. <laughs> it says, go a little bit out of your depth. And when you don't feel that your feet are quite touching the bottom, you're just about in the right place to do something exciting. Amen. I love that. <laughs> Amen. So tell us um, what else is on the horizon for you. Obviously, um, this fabric collection that's going to be coming out. Do you have anything else that you are looking forward to right now? You know, now that I feel empowered um, and excited by this first um, arrangement uh, with licensing, I, I, I am ready to tackle so many more different opportunities. So I'm looking forward in the next couple of weeks to really tailoring out some um, nice portfolios and seeing um, what else I can get out into the world. Yeah, this is gonna be so great. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us and we uh, are just so excited for you. Thank you very much, Bonnie, I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs>